Hi and welcome back to Free Science Lessons. By the end of this video you should be able to describe what's meant by atom economy. You should then be able to calculate the atom economy of a reaction. I'm showing you here a reaction to produce the compound chloroethane. You'll see this reaction again when we look at the organic chemistry topic. In this reaction we're starting with the reactants ethene and hydrogen chloride. And we're producing one product which is chloroethane. As you can see in this reaction every atom in the reactants ends up in the product that we want. Here's another reaction which also produces chloroethane. However, in this reaction, we also produce water as a waste product. So what that means is that in reaction two, not all of the atoms in the reactants end up in the product we want. Now the atom economy tells us what percentage of the mass of the reactant atoms ends up in the product we want. Here's the equation to calculate atom economy. Atom economy equals the molecular mass of desired product divided by the sum of the molecular masses of all reactants multiplied by 100. Now, there are a few points about this equation. The atom economy is based purely on the chemical equation for the reaction, and it assumes that the percentage yield is 100%. In other words, all of the reactant molecules react. Secondly, large numbers in the chemical equation count for atom economy. And lastly, any reaction which only has one product must have an atom economy of 100%. And in the exam you will be told which is the desired product. Okay, if we look again at the first reaction, this only has one product, so this reaction has an atom economy of 100%. We're now going to calculate the atom economy of the second reaction. In this case, the desired product is chloroethane. Using the relative atomic masses from the periodic table, we can calculate the molecular mass of chloroethane to be 64.5 grams per mole. The molecular mass of ethanol is 46.0 grams per mole, and the molecular mass of hydrochloric acid is 36.5 grams per mole. Adding these together gives us a value of 82.5 grams per mole. Putting these into the equation gives us an atom economy of 78.2%. Coming up, I'll give you a question to try yourself. Okay, here's a question for you. I'm showing you the reaction between sodium hydroxide and sulfuric acid. Our desired product is sodium sulfate. I'd like you to calculate the atom economy for this reaction, so pause the video now and try this yourself. Okay, here's the equation for atom economy. The desired product is sodium sulfate, and this has a molecular mass of 142.1 grams per mole. Sodium hydroxide has a molecular mass of 40.0 grams per mole. Now you'll notice that there's a large 2 in front of the sodium hydroxide. This means that 2 moles of sodium hydroxide take part in this reaction. So we now need to multiply 40 by 2. The molecular mass of sulfuric acid is 98.1 grams per mole. Putting these numbers into the equation gives us an atom economy of 78.8%. Now I just want to discuss a couple of points about atom economy before finishing. Reactions with a high atom economy are more sustainable than those with a low atom economy, and that's because less of the mass of reactants end up in waste products. However, you need to bear in mind that other factors need to be considered, and one of these is energy use. For example, if a reaction had a high atom economy, but required a large input of energy, then that may be less sustainable than a different reaction with a lower atom economy that required less energy. Also, the waste product of one reaction may be used by a chemical producer as a starting material for a different reaction, and this would increase the overall sustainability. Okay, so hopefully now you can describe what's meant by atom economy and calculate it for a chemical reaction. 